Good evening. Two weeks ago, my daughter asked me, Mommy, what is Pizzagate? After asking where and whom she heard it from, she said, my teacher. As a discussion about electoral votes led to misinformation, this teacher then told two full classes of eighth graders that an example of misinformation is the Pizzagate incident. The teacher said that the QAnon group said that Hillary Clinton was involved in sex trafficking, but really she was not, and that a man believed the QAnon stuff and shot a gun in a pizza place, then looked like a fool because he believed all of that. If you are not aware, Pizzagate involves sex trafficking and child mutilation and torture. Imagine three full classes of 13-year-old children Googling Pizzagate on the internet and the dark rabbit holes it would bring them down. Whether it's true or not, these are minors. This is not an issue of fact or fiction. This is clear political bias, which has no place in the classroom. After sharing this with others, the amount of parents who contacted me about their issues with the same teacher grew by the day. They too had emailed their concerns and complaints to our administration. They have shared their paper trails with me. I'd like to see where Pizzagate, QAnon, and sex trafficking is stated in our middle school curriculum. I suggest you all review the policy statement under the Trumbull Public Schools Policy Code 4118.21 labeled academic freedom. Then closely, read closely the Trumbull Public Schools Code of Ethics Policy 4118.22 under both Appendix A and B. I cannot read them here as I'm close to my two minutes. Violations were made under instructional policy. As a parent, I will not accept this. We should feel safe sending our children to school physically and mentally. I am not intimidated by anyone. I will not be gaslighted by anyone blanketing this under an attack on all teachers, as the majority of our teachers in Trumbull are incredible. As I stated respectfully in my emails to you all, I will exhaust every single outlet until something is done about this. And we as parents, and believe me, I have many with me on this, are ensured this won't happen again. Thank you.